Good morning, YouTube. This is Azriel the One signing in. What's up? How you doing? And thanks for tuning in. As always, I must say before every show, thank you, subscribers, for checking out my channel. Every, each and every one of your views and subscriptions mean a lot to me at this particular point in my life. Let me stop kidding. Your views and your subscriptions matter. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for doing what you do. I appreciate the time you take to watch my videos. Now, today is a very special day for two reasons. One, it is my father's birthday, and even though my father and I have been, have been in and out of each other's lives for most of my adult life, well, most of my life, period, the man has done his very best to impart some nuggets of wisdom and be a part of raising me as he could. No, he did not always get it right, but when I've needed my father the most, he has done his best to be there. So, on your 62nd birthday, Pop, I want to say happy birthday to you. Hopefully, you do not get too drunk and do something outlandishly stupid. I don't want to read about it in tomorrow's paper. I'm just kidding. Secondly, this is the first episode of Don't Be That Guy. So, on Don't Be That Guy, we're going to highlight a particular individual that we find in the media, whether it's print, television, or YouTube, or even something that we see on a day-to-day -day basis in the street, and we're going to say this is why you should that why that person is that guy and why you shouldn't be like them. Now, it was very difficult because initially my idea of doing the segment was to first go after everyone's gruesome twosome, Gorilla Grodd and Bizarro, also known as Tyrone Thompson and Clifton Rainey. But we all know that I've covered these guys to death already, and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing about them. We know that YouTube beefs are popular. People like to watch them. But it makes my channel very one-dimensional. So, unfortunately, they will not be covered in this episode. But, speaking of episodes, before I decided to go further into today's show, I noticed that two of my episodes, Meanderings of a Black Mind and The Black Family, were really underviewed this particular week. Now... Your views do matter. And so what I might ask you guys to do is to start letting me know how much you like the segments and the videos I'm doing. So hopefully when I do the next segment of Meanderings of a Black Mind and the Black Family, I would like to get feedback by getting 20 likes. 20 likes will tell me at least you want to continue seeing the content. If in fact I do not get the 20 likes, after two weeks, I will probably discontinue the segment. So your feedback is extremely important. Because it tells me what content you want to see. Now, today's show really has two people in mind. The first one is former Yankees baseman Robinson Cano, who has allegedly not paid his child support. Now, this is usually an issue that favors the women, but because this is a public figure, I just can't say anything all willy-nilly. This requires me to do my due diligence, and therefore, I cannot talk about him on today's show. However, after doing today's show, and probably for the next four or five days, I will be thoroughly researching this topic. So, by next Saturday night, if I have compiled enough information, he will in fact be featured on this segment. However, today, since I can't let you guys down, we'll be spent talking about everybody's favorite YouTube booty model, Miss Sansa Ray Smith. Now, because I have named you in this video, Ms. Smith, here is my personal disclaimer. This is in no way, shape, or form an attack upon you, your person. This, uh, this particular reason why you're in this video is subsequently based upon the actions you have taken within the previous year. Do not seek to take offense at this video. This is only one man's opinion. And if by chance you decide you want to get offended anyway, well then fuck you. I don't really give a shit. This is just my opinion get over it if by that point you still have not understood it tough titty said to kitty when the milk ran dry i will just continue to make fun of you and laugh at you as everybody else is doing now having said all that the reason why miss sansari smith is on today's episode of don't be that guy is because of her actions as of late 
In fact, I really wasn't considering doing a video on Miss Sansa Rae Smith until her video popped up in my recommended YouTube feed. Now, generally, I hate to see videos like this because it usually means somebody has tagged some bullshit and somehow it just pops the hell up. Now, I've seen it happen already this week, dealing with that bullshit with Mr. Tyrone Thompson and Clifton Rainey. So it was a surprise to see Sansa Rae's video in my news feed. And what surprised, what was saddening about it is that she did a top 10 video about Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. Now, I want to go on record to say that I'm not doing this video in this man's defense. Not at all. That man's personal beefs is his alone. I personally don't give two shits. But I have to do this video simply because I find this shit now going from silly to hilarious to downright pathetic. The reason why, Miss Sansa Ray Smith, because of your actions, you're on this segment, is because the video you just released just has reached a new level of despondency and disgusting behavior exhibited by you. Translation. Your actions as of late, or rather as of recent, have sinked to such a new low that it is now beyond, now beyond funny, it is just downright sad. And the reason is, is because you are giving the world a negative stereotype of black women. You know, the black woman who seemingly is needy, yet she is annoying. She is very, very disrespectful. And above all else, loud and obnoxious. Now, I kind of feel it's kind of weird to say you're loud since you speak very softly in most of your videos. But the obnoxious part just doesn't seem to go away. As much as I did not want to do this, I really had to do it because there was no other way I could figure out how to not do this. So, let us begin. Black women, the reason why I say you don't want to be like Sansa Rae Smith is because she has what we call the stereotypical Negro behavior. Loud, obnoxious, we won't talk about her weight because, well, as you can see... I myself am out of shape and therefore have no right to talk about anybody else's weight. But we see that she is loud, she is obnoxious, she is most likely a hair hat, and above all else, when she speaks, nothing logical comes out of her mouth. For example, in her particular video, her entire point about railing about the top 10 things she does not like about Tommy Sotomayor had nothing to do with anything logical. She says he twists the facts. But see, stereotypically, the ghetto hood rat does the same thing. Makes claims without any evidence. Secondly, this woman has been going back and forth with this man over a year. This indicates that she has a lack of grace and civility. More importantly, it emphasizes the disgusting fact that she is very needy and needs attention. Then again, black women... This is how the world views you too. Disgusting, overbearing, and needing attention. And the sad part about it is, you ladies will do that. You will do anything to get the attention. So it's not surprising that one of your own would go through such lengths to do that. Next, other than the fact of logic, lacking a cohesive logical argument, Lacking a simple fact of grace and civility is the sheer fact of pure, unadulterated ignorance. Now, usually, when you want to talk about someone's reasoning factor, it stands to reason that you should have some reasonable capability of your own. And in fact, Ms. Sansare Smith, in a previous video, has demonstrated her ignorance by commentating on a video and not even watching it. Now, I don't have to say how stupid that sounds, but yet and still, this woman did it. Above all else, she's featured on this segment because usually when you try to make a come up, especially off of someone else's name, you usually have to have something to say that's important. In other words, you need to have some content. The problem is, Miss Sansa Ray Smith absolutely lacks the talent, but more importantly, she lacks the content. Translation, the woman has zero substance. Black women, understandably, across the world, most people who look at you 
will, stick, will automatically believe that you are loud, you are obnoxious, you have a need for attention, and you lack grace, civility, and substance. Now, we all know that it's not all of you. So do not think when I say black women, I mean to blanket all of you. But I have to say that just because there's going to be some people who are going to believe that I am speaking about all of you. And that is not quite true. In this case, I'm speaking about this pathetic excuse of a woman who does not seem to understand to leave people alone. Now, it would be one thing if Miss Sansere decided to debate on the facts. But apparently from the last couple of her videos, she has no facts to debate. You know, there is a saying, especially when you want to debate or argue with the person, if you do not have the law, argue the facts. If you do not have the facts, argue the law. And if you have neither, bang the table. Unfortunately, Miss Sansere can't even do that. Which makes me wonder, why is she on YouTube making these videos? Especially since no one will watch them. I'm not going to bag on the woman because even though I have a very small subscriber base, she has a bigger subscriber base than I do and still generates more views. Or at least, I would like to believe that she generates more views. But it's only apparent that when she discussed Tommy Sotomayor, she actually gets the views she craves, which reinforces the position that this woman is a attention-starved individual. On a more personal note, and this when I say on a more personal note, this is not a personal attack upon your person, Miss Smith. This is clearly more of a personal observation than the general observation I've just made. It apparently seems to me that you suffer from some type of mental blowout. No, let me correct myself in saying that. It seems to me that you seem to suffer from some type of mental deficiency that seems that seemingly has rendered your ability to rendered you incapable blah, 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 blah. rendered you incapable of processing a simple concept of leaving people alone pursuing an issue and keeping issues that otherwise should have seemingly died out a long time ago alive and fresh in the minds of people that don't want to be bothered more importantly it has become now from a degenerative moment of comedy to an absolute cry for professional help I understand that traumatically you have gone through some things over your personal life and it is not my place to drag them out over YouTube. I think that if people go to visit your website, they can hear your sob story. I do not demean you in any way by this because what had happened to you was very sad indeed. However, it is translated now into your need for attention for anything you can get attention for. You have done that in the discussion of the Michelle Rowling's murder case in which you took her video, you took your video and made her tragedy your tragedy, which was very disgusting, but not unsurprising because this is what you do. You need attention. So on a more, again, returning to my point because I have digressed from it this far. It is my personal wish that you seek some professional help in the form of therapy and or psychiatric evaluations to determine if you have a mental defect. Because as it stands at this particular juncture, it seemingly seems you do. If not a mental dis disability at all, maybe it is just the fact that your life has had taken such a stressful turn for the worse that it must require you to talk to somebody to, relieve, to alleviate, there goes that tongue-tied thing again, Blah, 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 blah. to alleviate your personal issues. I would sincerely hope that you would realize that you are making an ass of yourself over the internet and it does not pay off for you in any way. You still have not gotten an increase in your fan base and the only thing you have managed to portray yourself is a needy black woman who desires attention so much that instead of being famous as she so claims to have been she would rather be infamous now the moral of the story black women is that every day you have people in your circle like Miss Sansare Smith excuse me I had to uh, clear my throat in the event that you have people like this in your circle, it would be very advisable for you to remove yourself immediately. This is what we term a we term people like Miss Sansare Smith, a emotional, otherwise known as a psychic vampire. She will drain the very living energy out of you, 
with her incessant whining and prattling and otherwise lack of anything to say. She is without a doubt a person who may have a good intention and a good heart, but unfortunately it is masqueraded by her stupidity. Stupidity amongst black women is a very undesired trait because it shows the world that our women are nothing more than the sum of their parts. Rather, not even the sum of their parts, just two specific parts in general. And for building a better black community, we must first remove this type of influence, or rather not influence, but this type of ideology that is held by the outside world. And the only way in which we can do that is to change our way of thinking. Apparently, it's come to my attention that Miss Sansari Smith lacks that type of critical thinking. So, because of which she has made herself and her poor decisions and judgments known to all the world, and as a result of that has ended up on this video. Now, what I suggest to you black women to do is to extricate yourself, as I said earlier, from friends like this. If you are that Sansa Ray Smith, I honestly suggest that you begin to take a hard self-evaluation upon your life, pathetic as it is. Because if you are within the sound of my voice and this makes you wonder or makes you think, well then, it is something that you need to consider. If you want to progress as an individual, you first must die. You first must designate a point of self-reflection. Look upon yourself and find the changes you need to make. Then, people that are people who are in that type of circumference, rather who are in a specific sphere of in, sphere of influence. Blah, 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 I am so tongue-tied this morning. Blah, 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 who are in a specific sphere of influence that control that is about one particular motion or direction in life that is negative it would do yourself good to sub to succinctly remove yourself from that and place yourself into an individual enclave where i won't say individual god i am just all over the place this morning to place yourself in an enclave of people who are very like-minded with the suitable goal purpose that la that will match perfectly to yours then you can use those people, and I don't mean use as in take from them and not give, but you can use the knowledge you gain from the people around you who mean you better and mean better for the black community to rebuild yourself to become a better upstanding citizen. In short, it is best while it is worthwhile to mention that people like Sansa Ray Smith do not make good friends. And if you have a Sansa Ray Smith as a friend, you should probably ditch her as at a moment's notice. If you are that particular person like Sansa Ray Smith, I advise you to immediately seek therapeutic help in the form of some sort of counseling and or other therapies that may help alleviate your, your particular issues. If for some reason you do not believe you have a problem, well then you are beyond all help and chances are you will find yourself on this show. So, I thank you guys for tuning in. I know I was trying to be very general with the topic. I didn't want to get very specific. Now, if you want to see the next episode, I ask only for 20 to 25 likes. Please comment down below whether you liked it, you didn't like it. Would you like me to improve on some things? However you feel to chime in. If you guys like this episode, I will definitely release the one next week. Until then, say tien, ciao. Arriva Derchi, Dasvidanya, Sayonara, and Goodbye.